Hello, everybody. In true, unrepentant, salivating, ravenous, souls born fan fashion, uh, we're doing a reaction today because Bandai Namco released a new story trailer for Shadow of the Earth Tree. Peggy I'm 16. Fan to, and I've had to loot my shit. From Software and Bandai Namco Entertainment presents. Mikula the Kind spoke of the beginning. The seduction Who's and the betrayal. Who's talking? What was that? Well, that's, that's definitely Mikula. An affair from which gold arose. That looks like a ruin arc. And so too was Shadow born. What followed was a war unseen. One that could never be put to song. A purge without grace or honor. The tyranny of Mesmer's flame. Are those supposed to be demigods? Are those omens? And so kindly, Mikula would abandon everything. Ooh, are those going to be our sets of grace? His golden flesh. His blinding strength. Even his fate. But we are not to kill. Choose to follow. Will you walk with us? So we're tarnished to Electric Boogaloo. And instead of the guidance of Grace, we're providing the guidance of Mikula. I mean, we knew it was coming out then, but... I mean, I've already pre-ordered, so is there anything... Pre-ordered? Uh, let's watch this again. I want to do some pause frames. Mikula the Kind spoke of the beginning. The seduction and the betrayal. An affair from which gold arose. So what's happening here? Is that supposed to be like Mikola grabbing the hair of um like a dead Godwin? Or is this supposed to be a gate between the land of shadow and the lands between? And so too because you can see kind of the stark difference between the sky here and the sky there. 
with shadow also, born. Also, it's got the it's also got the weird scumbly hands of Rygard's blasphemous blade. So, you know, maybe there is you know do, there is you know those kinds of that kind of aesthetic is associated with serpent the serpents and in, in the god devouring serpent. Um and um you know given mesmer is very serpentine and in, in, embodies both flame and um serpents which are both considered to be um effects against uh the greater will and the gods um that that's probably something to consider what followed was a war unseen that could never be put to song. A purge. So, was this supposed to... I think this is Lendau, I think. Um... So one of the things that I've always kind of like wondered a little bit was why is there so much ash just everywhere in Lindo before you get to, you know, Lindo capital of ash after you, you know, go to from the farm Zula. Why is it that there's just like in all of the little like crooks and crevices, like at the lowest point, like just tons of ash around and I'm thinking, you know, I think and th thought that the um, Mesmer here is obviously a, has been confirmed to be a child of, of, of Merica, goddess, uh, god queen of the lands between, or goddess queen of the lands between, and he obviously was pan was banished and, and, and forgotten about because of his, how transgressive his acts were. And so what we might be witnessing here was the act of him invading a Lindau. And, um, you know, and this might explain the amount of ash that we see permeating the streets of it. Without grace or honor. So, to reiterate, by the way, um, in Lindau, all of most buildings are, like, sealed shut. And this is just speculation on my part, but maybe a part of the part of them doing that was, a some of these places were just so dilapidated they weren't worth fixing, um, which doesn't make a whole ton of sense. This is the capital of the gods, you know. This is your Anna Orlada. This is supposed to be the pinnacle of opulence and beauty. Um, now that being said. I do think what's more likely is probably a corrupting influence of fire and serpent and and they just sort of like took to sealing the homes and buildings that people were in as just a way to sort of like keep Mesmer's corruption out. That's specu pure speculation on my part. Take that with a grain of salt. The tyranny of Mesmer's flame. So those are omens. He's burning a lot of people. So alternative thought, right? What if the Shadowlands, as it were, or a place where, you know, the rejects of the lands between your mis your misbegotten's, your those that live in death, your omens, your just people that fall outside the grace of the greater will, 
went to as safety. And we're looking at maybe a mirror of Lindell where these types of people and beings could live without fear of persecution. Now we know Mesmer, at least from what we know about him, um, has a twisted warped uh, obsession with the Greater Will and his family and all that stuff and, and, and you know, has both a I, I kind of get the vibe. Now we don't know this for sure, but I have a get the vibe that he has a sort of personalized interpretation of the greater will in, in the Golden Order. And I think seeing Mikola have such a prominent place in this DLC, uh, and here's my theory. Mesmer came to the lands between after being a heinous war criminal fuck to the point where Every, all the demigods were like, yeah, you gotta fucking go. Banished him to the Shadowlands to sort of, like, subjugate the... To, to sort of to sort of uh, 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 bring the old lore into compliance or whatever. Deal with these ostracized people. Mainly as a reason to get rid of his ass. And what we're seeing is him kind of, like, purging, you know, the heretics, as it were. And I think that might be part of the reason why we see Mikola kind of being the... Uh, 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 our stand in here, the, our person we follow here. And for the, pur for the purposes of um, reclaiming the Shadowlands and once again making this a place where uh, the people can be feel safe, free from the tyranny of um, the Golden Order. Similar to what the Halig tree was supposed to be um, before Mo stole his ass. So maybe the maybe the Halig tree was supposed to become a manifestation of the shadow of the Erd tree, which we see in the background here. Maybe the Halig tree was supposed to just be its own thing. I don't know, but at this point, it's just some bit of speculation. And so kindly, Mikula would abandon everything. His golden flesh. His blinding strength. Even his faith. So this is kind of feeds into what my theory a little bit earlier talking about how this is sort of like Mikola trying to reclaim the sh the Shadowlands as a refuge. And to do that, you have to get rid of Mesmer and his, you know, army. Um, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I am not completely, you know, like this is just a theory I have. If I'm right, that'd be fucking cool. But um, I don't know what the story's gonna be. They, they they did give us a good chunk to go off here. Obviously, the basic premise is Mesmer's a fuck. Mesmer came. Me Mesmer like Mesmer's a fuckhead, and Mikula's trying to fuck him up. But he can't do it directly, so he's doing it indirectly through charges, like these folks, all tarnished, presumably. Um, and I'm guessing that these sigils of Mikola are going to be our um, sites of grace, as it were. I'm excited. Um, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, your time, and your viewership. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, Lord. Have a good one, folks. Also, wait.
Um, if you want to support the show, please consider donating a dollar uh, at a, a month at hmedia.gg, hmedia.dg slash tip. It gets you exclusive access to um, uh, videos on our Discord, early access videos, other perks, and it is a boon of my mouth to help my very poor. Thank you for your generosity. Have a good one, everybody. Now, I just wanted to do the plug in the end. Toodles. Quack. Thank you.